I would say that he is the perfect storm of what can go wrong in the American medical system. That he being evil by himself would not be a problem, but he represents exactly what is wrong with the way that we treat doctors, the way that hospitals treat patients. He's just everything that could have possibly gone wrong in one man that had radical, radical results for the people and the lives that he touched. What was it about the character or the script that really drew you into wanting to take part in Dr. Death? What drew me into the character was just trying to understand how this man happened, how how he was, how, what created him, and then what allowed him to keep on doing the awful things that he did. What, what in his life, what in his culture allowed him to keep on moving forward when all he did was destroy and, and cause damage to the people that he was supposed to be helping and protecting. So it just, I, I found him an impossible riddle when I was first exposed to the story. And the more I got to know, I found him more confounding. And I found that to be con really compelling. Like it, when, when the answer is not simple and when the answer is not comfortable, that's probably a character that you should play. Did the podcast inform how you approach the character at all? The podcast was really my first exposure to the story in total. So it informed how I played the character, but it, what it really did is it lit the fire under the questions, right? I get what I, I ended up, I didn't intend to, but it was such a good podcast. I just binged the whole thing, um, which psychologically probably not a very healthy thing to do, but um, it, you know, even by the time I got to the end of it, when you, when you, get to the place of something that looks like justice, there's still so many questions about how, like how did this man happen? How did the system that is supposed to protect patients in human bodies, how did they support this man and continue to support this man as his outcomes were not just bad, but spectacular life altering failures over and over and over again. And from the podcast then got into a, a secondary conversation with Patrick McManus, who's the writer of the show, to just say with all of that, like, okay, so he's a psychopath, right? Like he's crazy. And obviously he's a crazy person doing crazy things and re came to realize that the answer is not that simple. That as much as I, I, as a human, not as an actor, wanted the answer to be easy because the, the alternative is much worse, it wasn't that easy. And it just made the character and thereby the story for me just m more and more compelling. And you mentioned, um, you know, it could be tough to even binge the podcast um, and the show, you kind of experience all of those emotions. Uh, what was it like playing a character who has such drastic changes in mood? Well, the, I mean, I don't want to use the word fun because it seems like the wrong thing to say about this, but for an actor, you know, being given the opportunity to play somebody who has the whole spectrum of human ugliness <laughs> inside of him um, is kind of the reason that you do this, right? And for me, the hardest part in playing this man was not in, in like, in the fact that he's kind of emotionally all over the place and you're telling him over such a long period of time that that you know physically the characterization changes really drastically um like the way he walks changes the way he talks changes it, it, all of those external things but because the outcome of his existence is so evil it's so monstrous the hardest part for me was actually to stop judging him to, to get to the place where I accepted at face value the thing that he believes about himself, which is that he's the hero, right? That he is actually a good surgeon and is the victim of other people's bad work and bad behavior. And if the rest of us mere mortals could just get on his level, we would see his genius. And that is a hard thing to accept from a person who has done the terrible things that Christopher Dunch has, has done. But once I was able to get past that and just live inside of that cognitive dissonance, then the rest of it started to, to unlock.